be back. It depends on the terms and conditions. Right. So you have to just check, you know, the fine print if you are refinancing. But go for it if you can, because the best deals are for new customers. It's a bit unsettling at the moment out there, isn't it? It just it, feels a little bit it, It's a big week, data yeah, week sure too, is. Carl, because we've got the RBA meeting and we'll know more about how far they're going to push these rates. With Effie, inflation. good to talk to you. It's a brand new hour right here on Today. Pack your patience. Well, you know, because it, it can sort of have a domino effect. Travellers prepare for more delays at airports as workers plan another strike. Footy finals underway. It's attached to his body, there's a 90% there's a chance he'll play it. Star Christian Petrucca under pressure to play with a broken leg as tickets for finals go on sale today at the Rush. A young mother carjacked while breastfeeding her baby on the Sunshine Coast. Watch the moment police take down the alleged offender. Ukraine's ambassador to Australia wants an offensive mural of Russian and Ukrainian soldiers taken down. We speak to the artist. And crowds gathering in Flushing Meadows as Nick Kyrgios gears up to take on Daniel Medvedev. Today, Monday, the 5th of September, 2022. And let's get down. Let's get down to business. Passengers are being warned of more lines and delays at our airports this morning as hundreds of workers prepare to go on strike all around the country. Today, correspondent Lara Vella is at Sydney's International Terminal. Lara, it feels like it's never ending, all of this. Yeah, it certainly does, Carl. It really feels at the moment every day where you're hearing from more and more frustrated passengers about cancellation, delays, lost baggage, damaged baggage. And now next Monday, we have got scheduled 350 ground crew from the company Donata that is owned by Emirates. They are scheduled to walk off the job as part of this industrial action. 